So the legal context, what we swear by in HETAC is actually the Qualifications Act, okay? Qualifications, 1999. It established three agencies. It established the NQAI, National Qualifications Authority of Ireland, the Higher Education and Training Awards Council, and the Further Education and Training Awards Council. Now, we also have to recognise that there is a big elephant in the corner here, and that is that the, um, it's not necessarily the government is the big elephant, but they made a decision back in October 2008, and essentially that decision was to bring a number of agencies under the one roof. I, just as a slight tangent, just as a slight tangent, any time I was doing an interview for promotion in the Department of Education and Science, your, one of your standard questions always was, you know, are there too many agencies? And the first thing you say is, yes, there is. And, you know, the NQI, HETAC and FETAC were the first ones that you would hit and say, you know, why three? Now, I'm glad to see that the government have actually taken my answer on board. They still haven't promoted me, but they have taken my answer on board. So at least they listen in part. But the essence behind this is that a number of functions, award functions alongside quality assurance functions, are being brought under the one roof. And there's an opportunity within that. And many of the uh, participants in the agencies recognise the opportunity that emerges from this. It's, if we recognise the fact that, look, we have a single qualifications framework. So why not have a quality assurance system that complements that activity? Um, like everything, particularly in the context of, you know, just the priorities that are there with government and with government departments and everything, it is a work in progress. And it is, it is, it is moving along a particular track. And I have no doubt that perhaps Scarlett might like to allude to it later on. Um, but, you know, heads of bill have been produced and there's a process which is actually in train. The legal context of what was actually established under the Qualifications Act for ourselves was that in the first instance it established, it gave a mandate to HETAC to look at issues like establishing policies for making awards or validating programmes. It also allowed us to what we call DA, or Delegate Authority to make awards to recognised institutions. And in Ireland and in the context of the Qualifications Act, the recognised institutions are actually the Institutes of Technology, the state-aided Institutes of Technology. It also gave us a remit in terms of an external quality assurance function and, in, in fact, the institutional review process, which has been in train since uh, December 2008, is actually evidence of that taking place. We had a remit in terms of de determining uh, standards of knowledge, skill and competency in certain fields of learning. Um, there's about eight fields of learning at this stage. There's two that are currently uh, ongoing in terms of the consultation process. But in areas like science, business and engineering, certainly uh, we have established uh, recognised standards there. There's also uh, work in terms of the monitoring and evaluating the quality of programme and ensuring that above everything else, that providers have fair and consistent assessment procedures for, for the actual assessment of learners. 